I'm Bruno Spengler and I'm going to show you today how to do a start in DTM. A start is very important in sport, but especially in DTM. Now I need a chair. Merci. The start is a very deciding moment at the start of the race. It gives you the whole momentum for the first lap. So here we are, of course, maximum adrenaline at that moment. So I'm sitting in my car and I'm on the clutch. I have my dashboard in front of me and on the dashboard I have a small indication which uh, tells me exactly more or less where I am with my foot because the way the travel of the throttle pedal is quite short so it just gives me a little bit an idea where my throttle position is and then as the light go off I start to release the clutch pedal so that the car starts going but it's very tricky uh, because if you use too much throttle you get wheel spin you have to go on the power with the amount you think is best, pretty much like on a, on a street car, and then do the best you can with throttle and clutch together to try and just get the best getaway possible and overtake other cars. It's very tricky, uh, but it's, uh, it's a fun thing to do. It's very easy to do a mistake because we have a lot of power, we have a turbo, so if you don't have enough throttle application and you release the clutch at the start, you get a bug down. The car doesn't go anywhere. If you have too much throttle pedal and you're too aggressive on your clutch, you get massive wheel spin and with the power of the turbo and the boost, it's almost impossible to get rid of the wheel spin. So you just stand still, don't go anywhere. There is not much you can do to train your feet to have a feeling for the start, but there is things you can do to train your reaction time uh, when the lights go off, which we do, um, of course, when we go fitness training. We have some facility where we can train our reaction time. All this makes it very, very tough to get a good start at DTM this year.